Okay, so now in this video, we will make the main camera follow our player car. There are two ways to make the main camera follow the player car. The first one is fairly simple. If you just make the rotation zero and then let's move the camera right here, okay, like this. You can see in the small main camera window also if you click on the game tab as you can see here is the camera okay so you can actually move this a little bit up and then click on this rotate tool and right here you can rotate it like this okay and actually let me move it a little bit there now you can set this main camera to however you want but I told you how to do it okay so just move it with this move tool and then you can rotate it to set it according to your game okay and then when you find the right position for the main camera then make sure that you add the main camera inside the player car so that the camera moves with the player car object like this okay if you move the car there now as you can see it is following the car okay if you move it back there now it is back right here so in this way you can make the main camera follow the player vehicle and now the next one and the more effective one is by adding the city machine so as you know in the city machine folder we have this camera but for now if we drag and drop it as you can see it shows this and what this means is that we don't have the city machine package so in order to add the city machine package click on window then right here in the package manager go inside the unity registry okay if you are inside the built-in or in project okay you need to go from there to the unity registry and right here you will find the cine machine and also from here you can just simply type cine machine and it will appear like this first of all download it and then click on install and once it is installed you will see it right here you can create your virtual camera if you want but as you can see i have this third person cine machine which we use in most of our games so we will use this just simply drag and drop that in there and now as you can see everything is fixed and what we can do right here is simply click on unpack completely and now in order to tell this main camera to follow this third person cinema machine which is right there for that on the main camera we will need to add the cinema machine brain okay you need to add this component to the main camera now as you can see right here and in the game window it is following the third person machine which is right there and now in order to tell this third person machine to follow this player in order to do that let's drag and drop that in there in the follow and also drag and drop the player car in the look at as well and as you know the player car is inside this uh, body so if you see the game as you can see it is inside there and let me actually play the game as you can see now we are following this player car okay and as you can see on the mouse movement we can also move the camera okay but in the in this game you don't want the mouse movement because this is a racing car game actually so for that let me close this click on this third person cine machine and right here in the third person cine machine then the cine machine virtual camera right here in the end change this to same as for the target and now if we play the game you will notice that now the mouse movement is turned off as you can see but we need to fix this issue okay we don't want the cine machine inside the player car body okay for that inside this player car let me go inside the scene tab okay in there let's create an empty game object by the name of look point okay and let's 
simply move this look point right here and then a little bit at the top okay and then we can tell this third person sin machine to follow the look point and also look at the look point okay now if we check the game as you can see it is now outside of the player car now let me select the look point okay and we are still inside the game tab let me change the rotation to for example 10 okay as you can see it is down below you can actually do this by just simply going inside the scene tab and then click on this rotate tool and you can rotate this wherever you want as you can see but for now let's leave this on 10 and then in the game let's change the position x to minus 0.03 and let's change the position y to 0.95 and guys your values can be different so just don't follow me right here okay you can add your own values and as i told you you can just select the look point and then you can move this to wherever you want okay and set it according to your game okay now let me change this uh, z to minus 5.32 okay and now if we check it out okay it is now behind the player car let me show it to you okay it is on the right side we don't want that so if you click on the third person sim machine right here inside the body we need to change this value okay for example right there now it is the car is in the middle now okay right there okay that's it now let's click on the look point actually let me see it okay we need to move the look point a little bit above and you can also uh, click on the third person cine machine and you can move it like this as well okay if you want so just do this this is uh, fairly simple than moving the look point okay so just move it there and now if you see it in the full screen as you can see it looks good like this and i will leave this as it is okay now our camera is set up let's me let me play the game okay it looks good now the next thing which we will be doing is to add some movement to our car okay to move the vehicle forward backward and to the left and right so for that catch you guys in the next one